Oh, you good? You good? Uh, you gonna do it now? Yeah, yeah. You 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 ready now? Not really. I'm at the house, man. <laughs> what? The, what? You can't? Um, what? You can't talk? You 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 can't chop it up with me at the house? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. I mean, you know, if, if you can chop it up with me at if you can chop it up with me at the house. I'm jumping off. Is this a needed suicide? I hope my parachute don't let me down. I hope I get the fly. I don't know why. Why I feel like I gotta die to be alive. I don't know why. It feel like people are standing still with no desire. I'm on the wire. Wobbling back and forth. The balance clown. I won't be happy. If I'm not moving forward, then send me down. My vibration for eternity will continue to come around. So I gotta do this right. I gotta live. I gotta what's going on guys back again just don't stop you know what i'm saying Woo. Woo, long night long day long day day's been long i mean i've been hemmed up at the uh, at, at the shipper for like five hours only had like three four hours to drive but i got here to the love and i was able to crank out these interviews that's what i do for you guys What's up, guys? I am Lockout Man, and this is the Lockout Man Podcast Show. Welcome, welcome. If you like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell and that all button. That all button lets you know when I drop the videos and when I go live. Welcome to the LOM community that been rocking out with me for this long. I do appreciate it. And on tonight's episode, it is an interview. Yes, sir. Found this young man on found this young man on Instagram. Checked him out. Got a cool Instagram page. You know, he does the damn thing. And as you know, he is a truck driver and he wants to be spotlighted on the Lockout Man podcast tonight. So without further ado, we're gonna bring in my man. Trucker Boy 19. Yo, yo. What's going on there, Cap? Not much, man. Not much. How are you? Man, I can't call it, man. Like I said, I, I got to the spot. Uh dropped off my load early this morning because it's, you know, I'm home over I'm home every weekend, so I get a load Friday that takes me home and then I deliver it on Monday. But when I got to my spot, okay. when I got to the spot this morning, uh, it was all jacked up, but I, I managed to get it in. And then I went over to the other spot, which, you know, I got there at about what, 10 30, 11 o'clock, bro. Right. Right. I didn't leave up out that motherfucker until four fucking 30 in the evening. I was two uh, through. Right. I was two through, but bro, that's trucking, right? That's trucking, right? Yeah, it is. <laughs> it what's is. some of what's it some is. of your what what's some of your uh what's some of your trucking woes, man? What where where have you been hemmed up at before? Um many years ago I remember getting hemmed up in Miami at a uh, uh, uh grocery distribution. Actually, Win Dixie. Okay, um, I'm familiar. I remember with you. going there. Yeah, I remember going there many years ago, man. I I uh, lived in Central Florida, a place called Lakeland, and I took a load down there to the Win Dixie in a day cab. It was a reefer load. I got down there first thing in the morning. They said I had to wait for about an hour before they start checking trucks in. I said, okay, that's fine. Got in there, I guess it was about 9 o'clock in the mm -hmm. morning, mm -hmm. and I finally got to the dock, and man, I tell you, when I sat there all day with no AC in a day cab Mack truck, mm. I was two through. Man, you, you sat you, in a day cab Mack truck all a, damn day no with no AC. no AC. Are you serious? You're in the Mack truck, I'm bro. Serious, man. 
You're in the Mack truck, no man. No AC. No AC in the Mack truck. In Miami. In Miami. In the Mack in truck. In Miami. With no AC. In the Mack truck. No, 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 AC. no, no AC, man. No, no AC. No. In the Mack truck. And you and no and sleep and no sleeper at that, bro. No you couldn't <laughs> you, you couldn't get you couldn't go back there to rest. You had to like like literally stretch your legs like uncomfortably yep. to get some rest. Yep. And you was hemmed up at this place all damn day, man. All day. I probably got to the dock around nine or something. I didn't leave that place until maybe like four thirty or something like that. I was like, what in the world is taking y'all so long to unload this trailer? Man, they, I mean, they took them, I, I got, bro, I only got 10,000 pounds on my shit, yo. Right, I mean, right. it, it really, about. it really takes, I'm driving, now I'm gonna, you, you, what, you was reefer, right? Yeah, I was reefer then, yeah. Yep, yeah, I'm driving, man. Why does it take fucking a gazillion hours for fucking ten hours worth, I mean, a uh, full, full, full ten thousand pounds, bro. I don't I'm get saying, it. That's what I be talking about. That's what I be talking about. But hey, hey, and I this... got, I finally, I finally got out of it and got into uh, a flatbed. Hey, you, this, this is what, this is what the people signs up, sign up for, though. See, but see, yeah, they don't. They, see, listen, the real ones know. You know what I'm saying? The, <laughs> yeah. the real yeah. ones know. You know, the, the the fake ones is the ones that telling them that 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 uh that sugar footing, that hoodwink stories. Those are the fake ones. Oh, well, you can come in right. the trucking game, you can come in the trucking game and make all this money and, and all like that and all you got to do is this, that, and the third. Nah, the real ones know that when you get in this motherfucking game, it's, it's no joke, man. You be hemmed up, regulations, driving, fucking around with other truck drivers that that don't want to do shit right, four-wheelers every day, right. scale houses that be hemming you up for no reasons. Hey, pull over to oh, the right. Pull over to the right. Yep. But wait a minute, I'm good. No, love pull it. over to the right. Then when you get in there, uh, we just doing the driver check. <sighs> yeah, I'm like, no yeah, I, I asked them, like, when I first got hemmed up on, at a driver check, I was like, what the fuck is a driver check? It was like, you must be a new guy. It's like, yeah, well, a driver check is such and 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 such. We just want to make sure that you're driving uh, within your hours of service. Oh. Okay, so I send that paperwork in to my to my people, and my people tell me I get fifty dollars for doing that shit. Okay, thank you. Right. <laughs> like I said, the real nice. one. Like I said, the real ones know the fake ones. Yeah. The fake ones fake it, man. So tell me about your story. Now you put me, I, oh, go ahead. Go, go ahead. ahead. No, no, you go ahead. No, I was just, I was just, gonna, I was just gonna comment and say, now you don't put me a half an hour behind. <laughs> you know, right? For no reason. You know, right? Yeah. And we and we gotta stay on duty. We can't go off duty right. when we go right. when we go right. for a DOT inspection. We can't go off duty like, hey, uh, I only got like thirty five minutes to drive. Can I go yeah. off duty? No, no, no. And then you're stuck. You you hemmed up. Yeah. So. Man, <laughs> man, trucker boy, man. What's um? Let's start with your story, man. How, how uh, where where are you from? You say you're from Florida. So how how was it growing up back then? Um, it was good. Uh, my uh spent most of my childhood in Florida, and then um, uh, in the uh, late nineties, I came into the military. I did that for almost two and a half years. And then um, I, I was out here in California doing that. And then I went back home for a little while, uh, uh, been married, kids from that one. Uh, met, I met a lady out here first, 
mm-hmm. out in California, mm-hmm. you know, went through a little something and then just, you know, you know how it is, you're young and, and end up you with know, another you think kid. you know everything, you don't know everything, but. And you end you up know. with another kid. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh, yeah, um, I was in the Navy for a little while and I finally got out. And then I got back to Florida, and then that's when I got into trucking, which was 2000, January of 2000. All right, so let's uh, let's talk a little bit about your uh, about your military, and I, I want to be the first to say thank you uh, for your service. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah. you you went in you went into the military after you got out of high school, or or what was it that brought you to the military? No, not right after high school. I always knew I wanted to be a truck driver, but, you know, um, I didn't meet the age requirement, of course, of 21. So um, I had to find something to do up until that time. And uh, I tried a year of community college, and that wasn't, you know, that wasn't my thing or whatever. So then uh, I checked out the military, went to a recruiting office, talked to them. I was like, all right, let's go ahead and do this. So I did that, like I said, stationed over here in uh, San Diego. And then uh, I ended up getting out early uh, due, due to some uh, injuries, medical conditions and stuff. And then, um, yeah, I just went back to Florida uh, and uh, got in the truck and did what, what I wanted. By that time, I think I was 22. All right, so <laughs> you you said you wanted to get in the trucking, but you couldn't get in it because of the age requirement. And it's funny that you can go to the service at the age of eighteen, but you can only right. drive. But you can only drive interstate. At the uh, you can't you can't drive interstate. Not in there's two, intrastate and right, interstate. Right. You couldn't drive interstate. Right. Until you until you became twenty one, that's right, crazy. Right. But you can go on the yeah, ser- and you, I didn't. You can go on the service, learn how to shoot a gun, and everything else that's that's pertaining to to the service. But yet you couldn't get your license to go interstate in the truck. Right. So in the service, did you did you, so, did you get your license? While you was in the service, would was it easier? No. Or you came out no, and got no. your license? No, I came out and got them. I um, actually found the, uh, a trucking school right there in my town. At first, I was going to go to Roadmaster, but then I didn't like, have the funds for it. And um, at the time, I think wait. they had... Oh, oh, wait, 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 trucker boy, trucker boy, wait, bro. You just came up out of the service. What do you mean you didn't have the funds for it? Come on now. Come on now. <laughs> Man, you, come on. <laughs> you you was in the service for two years. What wait. Oh, okay. Let me let me back man. it up. Let, hold on, man. Let me let me back it up. Let me let me back up off you. My bad. You you had kids. You had responsibilities. And no, not yet. I didn't oh. have, I didn't have any of that yet. But. Oh, okay. Well then let me get back on you then, man. Bro. <laughs> Okay, you you in a service. You you should have been saving your cheese, man. Like, man, come on now. No, man. Come on no, now. Bro. Come on now. Man. It was a hole in my pocket, bro. In the service? Yes. Two years. Yes. You how how long you was in the service for? Two years straight or almost No, no, almost two and a half years. It was um uh, it was almost two and a half years. I okay. can't remember the exact month, but it was almost two and a half years. Okay, so two and a half years in the service. You you didn't have no responsibility. You 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 what? How old are you? About what in your twenties? What twenty twenty two twenty three? How old was you? I was nineteen. I was nineteen then. Okay, so nineteen two years twenty two no twenty one well, yeah. and a half. So twenty two, yeah. Okay. So yeah. So, bro, what, what what happened with the with the cheese saving, man? Nothing, 
none, man. Man, I was I was young, man. I mean, I was young and 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 like really irresponsible, and uh, I kind of got out here, man. You know, and and got a little buck wild. So, like, as far as trying to save money and really focusing on, you know, that's what I wanted to do. Knowing that's what I wanted to do, I uh, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. So. Um, but I still, I still was able to, you know, uh, get financial aid, get, you know, to get uh, through trucking school and everything. Bro. But, you know, as far as, two like, year, outright having it, two, I just didn't have it. Two years in the service. I mean, you was living on campus, right? Or you was living in the barracks, right? You wasn't Yeah, li- yeah, no, yeah, yeah, you live... Yeah, I was living on the ship. I was in the Navy, so I was living on the ship. So what the hell you were spending your money on on the ship, bruh? Man. <laughs> you you got paid. Well, how man, did how did y'all get how how did y'all get paid? Y'all got paid every month, every week, every two weeks? Bi bi weekly. Okay, so bi weekly the money is going into your bank account, not coming into your pocket. So it's going into your bank account. Bro, what you doing on on Amazon? Just buying shit up? No, man, <laughs> with no Amazon back then. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just I just I, I just did whatever, you know. I was just doing whatever. Man, I'm hey, listen, I'm I'm just breaking your balls, man. I you know I understand. No, no, I know, bro. I, I understand. I understand, man. I I was in your shoes back in the day. I I didn't um. I didn't go to the service or anything like that, but you know, try to save money up and 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 you know, I I had responsibility, so I I was married young or well, yeah, I I didn't get well. Let me see, me and her eighty eight couple of years, yeah. So I've been with the I've been with the same woman for you know since eighty eight. But you know we got separated. Uh, we got what? Well, no, no, don't say okay, bro. Don't don't say okay. We we got se- <laughs> we, we got separated seven years ago. So you know, but you know, I, I took care of my boy. I took care of my family. I made sure that they had a roof over their head. So you know, saving money back then was kind of hard too. So I I got you, man. I, I I'm with you. So you 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 bounced up out of there. You 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 bounced up. You you wanted you you said you wanted to go to Roadmasters, but why didn't you go to Roadmasters? Because if I'm not mistaken, Roadmaster is owned by Warner. But wait a minute, was they owned by Warner back in that time? Um, I don't I don't know back then because that was uh was, that was uh the year ninety eight. So I don't know back then, but. That was one of like the first school, or not the first school, the first companies that was on their list. It was Warner, Covenant, uh, Prime. Uh, there was quite a few other. Melton was still on that list. Mm-hmm. There was quite a few companies on that list that were doing uh, school reimbursement. Okay, okay. And um, I didn't feel comfortable with that at that time. So, like, I just waited it out. You know, uh, found a little gig to uh, get me some funds, and then um, uh, I actually didn't go to truck driving school until like two years later. So you yeah, said I you didn't go to like two years later. So you said you was interested in trucking for a long time, uh, and then you finally got into it. Now that you went to school for it. You got your CDLs. What was the first company that you that you got with, and what was your experience with them? It was a local company right there in uh, Plant City. It was a, a nursery plant plant mm-hmm. nursery, mm-hmm. Um, and it was it was good. It was good. It took me right out of school. You know, like I said, it was a local company. All I did was service like the Home Depots and their garden area and, like, a few a few other uh, residential and commercial areas and stuff like that. But I think I was there um, uh, a little over a year. 
Yeah, a little over so, a year, and they pretty much was going to be shut down. So wait a minute. What do you what do you say to guys that what do you say to guy and and these YouTubers too? I gotta bring them in because they say the same damn thing as well. What do you say to guys that that says you gotta go over the road in order to in, in, before you go local? What do you say to guys like that? Man, don't 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 believe that, man. You don't. You just you just have to find the right company. You have to just like keep fighting, keep looking and find the right company and uh, believe and trust, you know, that it'll come. Because on this second time around, because this is actually my uh, second time around before it's driving truck, because I had like a 10-year break. Um, same thing, you know, that's, that, you know, that's all they told me. Oh, man, you, you drove before, but you got this break, so you got to go back over the road. Oh, no, you got to go back over the road. Get, bro, ain't no experience out there over the road. There's no experience out there over the road. I'm sorry to tell them people that, but okay. there's no experience out there over the road because when you go out there over the road, like, you know, like they say, you mainly just driving straight, mm -hmm. get to your destination, you bump mm -hmm. the dock, mm -hmm. you know, you sit, wait, whatever you're getting into, sit, wait, and get unloaded. You know, sometimes you wait for dispatch. Sometimes they have your preload ready, so you go to the next load, and then it's, the same process all over again you back out on the road like you know you may hit a major city but as far as like on a consistent basis you know being in the city and making maneuvers and uh doing two and three drops mm -hmm. uh that's where your experience comes in at you know okay. i i feel that's where your experience coming at and you don't i i just don't feel like you have to do that you just have to like really do your research and you know really fight and you know just keep looking that's all i did man i just kept looking it may take some months but if you just keep looking it'll come it'll okay come. okay that's what's up man that's what's up so again i agree with you because like i said you know i, I talked to a lot of drivers and a, a a lot of a lot of other drivers say, yeah, you gotta you gotta go over the road. You gotta you gotta uh, you, you you gotta get your experience over the road. But this one driver just written down all of the day cabs that he saw, written down the names of the companies, and he went to those companies and just said, hey, I'm a new driver out of school. Would you guys give me a chance? And one of them, and, and one of them companies gave him a chance. Did no need to go over yeah. the road, no need to do none of no. that. And your and 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 the way you broke it down, man, like you you seriously, yeah, bumping dots, driving straight. But as a local driver, I, I think you get a more uh, more experience because number one, as a local driver, you're going to be driving in the tight spots. You're going to be blindsided. Right. You're gonna be, uh, right. you're gonna be weaving in and out of traffic, getting into, getting into cuts and crevices and shit like that. So yeah, I yeah, yeah you you will tend to probably learn more as a local driver than you would as 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 an over the road driver. Right. All right. Yeah. All right, so you say this is your this is your second time, uh, second go around, and you took a you took a ten year hiatus. What was what, what happened? What, why you took a took an extensive break? Man, I had a heavy foot. Man, I had lead, so much lead in my foot that like nothing could get rid of it, bro. So it was just ticket after ticket after ticket after ticket. And, you know, um, the second go around, like I said, you know, I said, you know what, if this is what I really want to do, yeah, you got, you got, I got to get this lead out of yeah, my you foot. you got to get that lead <laughs> out your foot. I, I had, now, don't get me wrong, I had lead foot prior, you know, before I got into trucking. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. I used to have, uh, right, used right. To have speeding tickets on my on my car. Speeding tickets, running lights, running yep. stop signs. 
<laughs> all that shit. But when I got in the trucking, man, yeah. for for the past for the past five years, going on six years, man, I have not. Well, let me knock on something. I haven't had a ticket, and ain't planning <laughs> on getting one either. So that's why I'm knocking on. Right. I'm knocking on something. <laughs> knocking on something. Right. Not gonna try and jinx myself. You know what I'm saying? But that's what's up, man. That's what's up. So what's the hardest? Uh, so you went to, you went, you was at truck. I'm, I'm reverting back to your, you know, to your time at truck driving school. What was the hardest part of truck driving school for you? Say it again. What was the hardest part for? I mean, what was the hardest part of truck driving school for you? What was what was the hardest part? Uh, hardest part. Um, honestly, probably learning it in the dark. I would say. Um, I I feel like like I'm a natural at this. So, like when I did it, I was doing it uh, at night. Uh, so probably like really focusing and um, trying to like really be able to see what I'm doing, you know, uh, what they're teaching you to do and doing it in the dark was probably the hardest thing for me. Okay. Now, that, that was the best thing I feel like for me. But uh, as far as like doing it in the dark, was probably the hardest thing, you know, because right. of course you can't see nothing. You, you know, they don't, they didn't have no, they really didn't have much lighting on the, on the course. You know, you got to maneuver around those orange cones and all mm -hmm. that. You can barely mm -hmm. see them mm -hmm. and all that stuff. You know, I mean, you know, when you go to any truck driving school, you go there for three weeks, you're pretty much doing it from eight to five all day long in the daylight. Of course you can see. But, you know, trying to do it in the dark, I would say that was, like, the hardest hardest part for me. I already knew how to drive a stick shift, uh, so that, 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 wasn't, uh, that wasn't new to me. I actually went with a, I went to school with a person that didn't know how to drive a stick shift at all. And, like, back then, you know, that's all they had. So you had to learn how to drive a manual. Okay. And uh, you know those those people were like, I never drove in one. So, but the, the instructors that is the school I went to, the instructors the instructors were really nice, and they were like, Look, it's really simple. You put your foot on the clutch, you put it in gear, and just ease your foot off the clutch until you start until you feel it start moving, and then just finish taking your foot off the clutch, and the truck will roll. It's not like a regular vehicle where if you do that with a regular vehicle, you know it's gonna just fall out. You know, you got to give it some gas. Right. But, of course, with a with a truck, it's not like that. You know, you literally can just ease your foot off the clutch, and, you know, it'll start going. You don't even have to give it no gas. See, that's, <laughs> but, see, uh, see, that was the difference. Hold on for a second. Yeah. See, that was the difference of driving – uh, coming coming from driving a car with a stick shift because I I knew how to drive a stick shift, but when I got into this truck, right. when I got when I got into this truck, man, woo, you had to rev it up to the RPMs. Then you did down yeah. my my issue. Yeah. What was challenging for me was downshifting. That that was my whole issue. Right. I, right. I I got I got the upshift. I. I got the upshift, you know. I, I I was in the rhythm. I every time I got behind the seat, the 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 instructor would look at me funny, cause I would have my I would have, I would put my like my earplug in my ear, and I would have uh, I would have my uh, instrumental music playing, and I would get into a rhythm. You know what I'm saying? I would uh, get it. I would get into that yeah. rhythm. So when I get when I start to drive, you know, I get that uh 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 uh. uh uh, 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 right, you know what I'm right. saying? But then when it came for me to to downshift, because I had to rev the, you know, I had to, to rev the RPMs to get up so it could get in, you know, so I can come up out there and then clutch back in. And then, you know, I I got yeah. into I got into double clutching. 
when I got out, when I got out here with the trainer, this motherfucker like, yo, throw that double clutch out the window. I was like, I can't do that, yeah. bro. I, I can't do that. He was like, throw, throw that double clutch out. I'm, I'm about to show you how to float. And I'm over here like, I, I, as much as I tried to fucking float, I was grinding that shit. I was like, bro, I said, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm not trying to tear up, I'm not trying to tear up this truck, but I'm going back to double clutching. Vroom, 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 vroom. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, so yeah, man. I that was that was my that that was my problem. And I was probably say winter driving. You know, I, I had to get used to winter driving real quick. <laughs> you know, right. coming down the motherfucking hills at motherfucking sixty-five miles an hour and shit. You had to, you had to hurry up and ease that shit down. And it's snowing and it's 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 ice on your truck and all like that. Yeah, yeah, I had to learn real quick, bro. You know, sitting in there with the ass with the ass all tight. That was me. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> Um, when you, uh, <laughs> in the years you've been driving, man, what are some of the significant changes that you noticed in the industry? Oh man, don't get me started, bro. <laughs> you can give me, you, you can bro, give me a little bit. Get me started. You, you can give me a little bit, bro. You don't have to go into the, man. you don't have to go into the archive. Just give me the cliff notes. How's that? Man, the way these loads are going right now, bro, the way the loads are going and how they're trying to make uh, autonomous trucks, it's, oh, it's, man. it's just beyond me. It's just beyond me, dude. Uh, listen, man, that, look, 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 look. <laughs> let, me, let me tell you something about these autonomous trucks, man. Let me tell you something. Don't worry about them, man. The motherfucker's still gonna need a human to drive that bitch, yo. I no, mean, can I can can in the time? Only thing in the time this truck can only do is go up and down the highway. That's about it. That motherfucker, right. you you can't right. drive that motherfucker by itself in a in in the, in the, uh in a in the, in in the city. That dude that's sitting right. his, that dude that's sitting his ass back in that damn sleeper berth. Gonna have to come up front and drive that motherfucker through the city, and he gonna have to back that right. motherfucker up to a dock. But here's my yeah, I know. here's my question. Here's my question. Who's in trouble if the motherfucker truck gets into an accident? That's what I want to know. Is it is it the auto- it. is it the autonomous truck, or is it the driver? Now I seen I, I seen the video. I, I seen the video of the driver actually sitting in the back of the fucking in the back of the fucking sleeper berth while the motherfucking truck is yeah. driving. So is he on the clock? Is he on sleeper berth? The fuck, man? <laughs> Yeah. Somebody. I, I know exactly what you're talking about. I, I need clarification. I, I need clarification. I need somebody. I need somebody. I need somebody. Just like I needed somebody to explain the fucking rule, the new HOS rules. I need somebody to yeah, come and explain yeah. to me how this autonomous shit is gonna work. If you get into an ass, if, if if it malfunctions and get into an accident. Who's at fault? Right. Who's at fault? Yeah, I, I know. I know exactly what you're talking about because I seen that dude back there reading the magazine, man. It's <laughs> like right, right. Bro, y'all, 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 y'all in for a world of trouble because you know Tesla already had an accident. Tesla had an accident in the their car. damn cars too. So. Yeah. Yeah, the, car, the cars because they had those self they that's when they first started coming out with a self driving car and they mm-hmm. already had an accident. So I can just imagine what a truck is gonna do, man. But um my thing is, you know, them just trying to uh come up with it. Like this is to me, this is just one field that no matter what, it's gonna take a person to do it. You cannot just take a truck and try to turn it into a drone and you know you got somebody sitting on the ground 
doing controls. He can see the video on his controls. Mm -hmm. And you got the drone way up in the air. You can okay. send the drone wherever you want to go. No, it, it, it's not going to operate like that. Okay. It's too many. Uh, it's too many conditions. I would say on the road. You got construction zones. You got mm -hmm. speed limit zones. Mm -hmm. You got certain turns that you got to make. Mm -hmm. And you know, if you got somebody sitting in some kind of booth or something trying to do all that, it's it's just not gonna happen. It's, it's I just I just don't see it. You know, not happening. So I don't even know why they would attempt to try to play with that. But hey, if that's what they want to do. Trying oh, to say, but I just don't. Save, I don't see it. I don't trying see it, to, trying um, to save, happening trying, no time soon. Trying to save money. That's that's what they're trying to do. Yeah. Try trying to try. Yeah. You know, everything is going. Everything you know. Every you know. I'm from the old school. I came up where you know you had paper checks and you had to go into a bank and cash yeah. that motherfucker. Now you don't even have you. You yeah. don't even need to. You don't even need to go in the bank for shit. You can do everything over the app. You can do everything over the phone. Yep. Everything is digital. Everything, yep. er, er, you know, you don't even need a security company for your fucking house no more. You got just buy that ring shit and all like that. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's another thing, too. But anyway, uh, and that's a whole nother yep. conversation. Um, but yeah, right? <laughs> all, all this, you know, all this technology, you know, especially for old school truckers, they got to get used to it, you know. They got they got to get used yeah. to get used to this new technology that's 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 coming into play now. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, because they they used to pulling over and stopping at a payphone. Okay, what's my next dispatch? I'm finished with that load. What's my next one? They get their next dispatch. They write it down. They map it out. You know, uh, uh, they got all this. You know, Google Maps and GPS and stuff now. Uh, so yeah, no, I, I feel you on that, man. Those guys used to do it that way and stuff all right well trucker boy 19 man i do appreciate you coming in and chopping it up with me very quick man thank you very much oh yeah no hey doubt, no co doubt. covid season bro what how, how has how has covid affected uh, uh uh affected your lifestyle or affected your trucking uh your trucking journey uh not a whole lot man honestly not a whole lot um i still work uh, it slowed down um, at the very beginning, which was, it was kind of like slow for us anyway. Because I, right now I do uh, RGN, uh, the removal snake heavy haul, mm -hmm. and um, it slowed down for us a little bit. But then, like starting to go into April, it kind of kind of like started kicking off a little bit. We had some good weeks, and then you know we had maybe a bad week and a half. You know, then we had some good weeks, and then we may have. So it was kind of like up and down, but I still was able to work every day and, uh, you know, earn earn my paycheck and, and everything like that. Okay. Uh, so you, I, I just call I just call BS on the whole thing. If you ask me, <laughs> I man, I don't 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 you know I don't talk politics or anything like that. You know, forty five yeah, no, forty no, forty five claims to have it, but I don't know i just don't know. yeah i i yeah. just don't that, know that's 40, another whole conversation yeah, too bro 40, 45 <laughs> says he got it but i i just don't know and yeah not, yeah not not a fan of 45 but, uh, no it, it's it's been good it's, it, it was it was it was good it, it's still been uh good like i said i've still been working every day um i'm typically home every night Mm -hmm. uh, like you say, you 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 home on the weekends. I'm normally home uh, every night and off on the weekends. But you you but, you um, flat you you flat bedding and 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 you home every night. No, no heavy haul. You heavy haul and you home every but, night. Yep. I well, wait a minute. Wait a, company, wait a right, minute. Right flat, where I'm at. Ain't ain't heavy haul flat bed, bro? I mean, you still. Oh, it's different. But you're still carrying it on a flat bed, right? Uh, you just did. You just put it out. A guy, he uh, he's a heavy hauler. He was doing flat bed. I can't remember his name. But anyway, it was the RGN guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's still the same. But with, but with RGN, you're you're more likely to carry just one piece as opposed with a flat bed or a step deck. You 
carry multiple pieces. Okay, I got you. I got you. I got you. And you home yeah. every and you home every so, night though, man. Well, is it every night that yeah, you home or yeah. every other night or you you home every night? Typically, typically I'm home every night. That's why I was saying earlier. You know, tell the guys don't give up. You know, if you want to find a local gig, especially if you got a family, because I got my family here. And uh, you want to still do it, you can do it. You just got to be patient, do your research, and uh, like you said, find find that one company. But typically, I'm home every night. There are uh, some cases where I'm out for a whole week, um, which, you know, uh, my wife and the kids and stuff are okay with that. So, um, But most of the times, I am home every night. All right. That's what's up. That's what's up. Trucker Boy 19, everybody. Whoops, wrong button. God yo, damn yo. it, man. Hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. That, <laughs> you that, good, that, you good. Let's start all over. <laughs> Trucker Boy 19, everybody. I appreciate you coming on, bro. Thank you very much, man. Uh, for thank anybody, you, thank ag- you for having me, man. Again, man, uh, you know what you said. Uh, you know, as far as getting into the game, looking for these local jobs and all like that, that was some good advice, man. What other, what other advice that you got that you can give some to some of these new jacks that's coming into this game, man? Uh, take your time. That's all I can say. Is 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 really take your time. Uh, you got to be attentive in this. Uh, it's way more people out on the road than when I first started driving. And uh, a lot of people don't understand how trucks operate and how much room that they need. So, you know, uh, watch your mirrors at all times. Um, you know, get out and look. I mean, I, like I said, I've been back three and a half years. This is all I've ever wanted to do. And sometimes I get to a place where I'm getting ready to back in. I get out and look. I double check, especially when it's dark. You know, um, never trust the spotter. Use him as a guide. Uh, you know, you still got to look at your mirrors, look at the trailer, but just use the spotter as a guide if you're at a truck stop, exactly. you know, backing into a spot, you know. Oh, that's what's up. But yeah, for the most for the most part, man, just you know, just take your time, take your time as, as to what you're doing. Watch your turns. Um, if oh, if you get sleepy, because I've done this, man, if you get sleepy and you for some reason can't wake up for nothing in the world, find a place to pull that truck over. If it ain't but fifteen twenty minutes, it ain't, it's not worth it. It is not worth it. It's, it, I haven't, unfortunately, I haven't been into an accident, but I've heard of stories where the driver gets real For sleepy and he's trying to make the sleep, run, make yeah. the load, trying to get it. I got to get it. No, it's not worth it. It is not worth it. So you get sleepy, man, find a place, pull that truck over, put your phone on silent. So that way if dispatch be trying to call you, whatever you got, put everything on silent and take you a nap. When you wake up and he calling you, say, look, man, I was tired. I was sleeping for whatever reason. I'd rather make this load late than not make it at all. That's what's up, so, man. That's one to grow on, too, bro. That is one to yeah. grow on. <laughs> if you guys want to come and holler at your boy, you can do that. You can get at me at the Gmail. You can hit me up. Yeah. You can hit me up at the Gmail. That's LockoutMenPodcast at gmail.com. Or you can come over to the Instagram and hit me up over there. Or just leave it in the comments below. Or if you know me on Facebook, hit me up over there. Yo, if you guys like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell and that all button. That all- this show, yeah, get it in. Yeah. Party over here, get it in. Yeah. She like a liquor clear, get it in. Yeah. She get it from a deal, get it in. Yeah. Make it disappear, get it in. Yeah. Park it in the rear, get it in. Yeah. Now make it real clear, get it in. Yeah. Freak it with no fear, get it in. Yeah. Pop, pop, pop it in the clutch, girl, get it in. Yeah. Jump on the double touch, girl, get it in. Yeah. Drop, drop, drop it double clutch, girl, get it in. Yeah. Pump it up, butt lift, now downshift.